Oh uh, yeah. Got the achievement. What's your news? Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. This is episode 56, I think. And last episode we were doing the Skyblock challenges. If you weren't around for the episode, just going to catch you up. Uh, so we've completed all the challenges which were set by the original map maker. And one of the challenges was to cook some fish, which we didn't complete last episode. So we're just completing it now. Sweet. So we've got 10 cooked fish, I think. Well, actually, we have, well, I think we have six cooked fish, and then, yeah, we have four in here, so we'll quickly cook them up. Uh, two, well, let's chuck some stuff away. Uh, the zombies there. That's a lot of rotten flesh. Hopefully 1.8 uh, allows us to trade those uh, rotten flesh in, because we'd get so, so, so much emeralds. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start off by building a melon and pumpkin farm. Then I want to start a new project, which I won't reveal unless we actually do it like this episode. And then after that, we will work on the villager trading system. Actually, first of all, we're going to go check on the villagers because I'm not sure whether they're still alive or not. So we're going to go check on them right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll cut right there. All right, we're over here. It looks like these villagers are doing well. Maybe this corrupted chunk is finally fixed. Hopefully it is, but we are getting lots of villagers, so if we have enough time, then I guess we'll, like, if we have enough time, then we could start trading with these guys. Oh, that guy's a paper trade. That guy would be cool. Like, if we have enough time, we could start a villager trading system, which I think we'll check over, not, not by the mob farm, maybe over there. Although, we do have to keep a village, like, far away from that area, so I'm not sure what we'll do, but we'll continue breeding the villagers. Um, I don't think we'll get to the villager trading system this episode because if we do complete the automatic melon and pumpkin farm then there is a new project I want to start as well. So we'll let those guys breed anyway. Uh, let's start off by collecting some redstone. Huh? Oh, one of those guys was trading emeralds for redstone. Oh, we got that last episode so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, we There is a villager with an emerald and red for redstone trade, so I think we should start collecting some redstone to start an automatic melon and pumpkin farm. Because this is the melon and pumpkin farm, and it's not really producing stuff too fast. The like It doesn't really need water, so we don't need water. So what I'm thinking is we can have the automatic melon and pumpkin farm underground. Probably in the underground area, which is Izu, which we're now calling it. So we got a few things. Oh, well, we got a couple of things. We've got the squid farm. We've got that thing. Uh, I'm probably going to finish that up in the question of the day time lapse. And then we've got over here, we've got the automatic squid farm. So I'm thinking maybe have the automatic melon and pumpkin farm over here. And I don't think we're going to make it fully automatic. We'll only have it semi-automatic. So whenever we walk on, all of the melons and pumpkins are destroyed. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to be doing, but I think it's time to collect some resources and then we'll start work and complete the Enderman mob farm from last episode. But I'll catch you guys in a little bit. And yeah, why don't we answer the question of the day right now and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so this question of the day is a little bit weird. So I'll let... I'll just read out the comments and I'll let you guys form your own opinions about these questions of the day. Because uh, one of them basically applies to the question of the day. So let's start off with Shadow. Uh, the question of the day is how do you define love? And Shadow says what is love? Baby don't hurt me. La 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 la. Um, I can't remember what song it is. It is What is Love? Oh by Hathaway. If you want to go search it up. Brett Rose Gaming says, What is love? When you have a deep emotion to a person, place, or thing to the point where you don't want to ever leave that person, place, or thing. Winky face. Although, I do love oranges and I leave oranges all the time. Pat Games says, Shrek is love. Uh, Shrek is life. Shrek is love. Okay. Alex says, Diamonds are love. Mm-hmm. And Carl says, two cannibals giving each other oral stimulation. Welp. I think one of them only really applies to the question of the day. Everything else is really, really silly. Uh, you guys are all weird. Apart from Brett Rose. Congratulations, Brett Rose. You get, like, the trophy of love. 
<laughs> Alright, let's get back to the question of the day. Oh, well, no. Let's get back to the episode. Alright, day two of the Skyblock episode. Let's go have a look at what's been done. Um, mostly just got new tools and lots of stuff. Like, look, free, nearly free stacks from all of those trees of oak logs. So, yeah, actually prepared a little bit. And yeah, this is, if you're wondering, the mob trap we did make last episode. Uh, this is mostly for trying to find Enderman. Although it might take a very long time to try and spawn him in. Uh, it kind of doubles as an XP farm as well. Although we don't really need a any XP apart from levels. So we could probably like, na oh, no. We don't really need any XP apart from possibly naming stuff. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, so... I don't know, maybe we could go try and name a few things sometime. Like we could name the diamond perk and the puffer fish I fished up uh, down there and this chest blade and anything else enchanted. Anyway, uh, let's go make the automatic melon and pumpkin farm. Alright. see. I guess, yeah, I did say we should start it under, underground here, so we should make a little path to it, so maybe we could continue this road. Hopefully that doesn't fall underneath our feet, because that does happen with slabs sometimes when you're bridging. It just suddenly just switches places, and it's really irritating, because you're not sure whether you're about to die or not. Alright, so if we continue it along like here... I guess we should, yeah, we were talking about chucking it over here, so maybe let's use this cobblestone I gathered to put good use. So maybe we could have a little path going this way to the automatic melon and pumpkin farm. As I said, it's not going to be too big, it's mostly just going to be a pop-up area, so we walk on a pressure plate and the melons pop up, or the pumpkins pop up. We can't make anything too big because we do have the limited dirt, and that really... That really um, downplays how productive we can be. Uh, let's, let's check that there. I, mean. I guess that works. It looks really ugly. Oh dear. It does look really ugly. Alright. I'm going to do a little bit of work and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh no you dare. Oh snap. Don't you dare. Oh dang it. There you go, suck it. Alright, let's just finish this off. I got some stone brick to just finish off this second mob farm. There we go. That should start spawning some endermen sometime soon as well. Alright, so I've just relocated this so it doesn't look so weird. Um, yeah, that... We're going to have to shift that ladder away. Uh, the ladder down there, because I'm, I don't really like it. I reckon we need like a proper way down, so maybe some sort of minecart elevator system. But this has got to be the platform, so I'm thinking. Let's chuck some torches there. I'm thinking we have the like the dirt over in here because we only have like so little dirt. Actually, we could probably spare a little bit more to make this melon farm, so we could probably make this wider. How about? five wide we don't really need too much although we should have a lot of jack-o'-lanterns so maybe eight wide 33 times 16 by 2 barely enough dirt and we'll also have the dirt over here yeah I guess we could probably yeah I guess we'll yeah we'll chuck the dirt in I mean if we don't need it later on then we can easily take it from the mother. why is the pumpkins in there when whatever I don't, I don't really care uh, so we're going to need some redstone for the contraption. We don't really have enough redstone, so let's go get some of the sugarcane from over here. That's a lot of sugarcane. Woo! I like this farm. Alright, let's go get some emeralds and let's start trading with some villagers. Looks like a lot more of these uh, villagers have grown up and become 1.7 villagers. Uh, that should be good. You should be getting another trade... Is this yeah there's <laughs> there's a crafting bench. Let's get more of this sugar cane. Oh man. Alright, what what's your next one? Written book? We don't have any lever. How's that? Oh dang it! Dang. Okay, any other guys with paper trades? Paper? Paper? White guy? The librarian dudes do paper. 
Okay, that guy doesn't like paper. Oh, and that guy's glass, which we might have to look at later. Alright, let's get the redstone. Which one's redstone? Redstone! I saw you so much earlier. There we go. There we go. Oh, out of redstone as well. Bottles of enchanting. Maybe. I mean, if it's to reset the redstone tray, then yeah, I'd trade it. Alright, that seems pretty good. We've got 28 redstone. And we need... 16 pistons and at least oh, probably 16 redstone as well I'm not sure we're going to need 32 redstone total <sighs> going to need fi to find one more redstone hopefully the mob farm has one more redstone alright let's check it do do do. Nope. I'll take the sticks. Uh, doesn't look like you have redstone. Hmm. We're gonna have to deal with it as it comes. Yeah, I have no. I don't know where to get the other redstone. Huh. I guess we'll go start on the uh, farm anyway. Let's go quickly light it up. I'll f I'll quickly finish this up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so the platform's been completed. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a little oh, a little bit of a break. Oh, no! <sighs> Whatever. Uh, that's going to wash away a bit of torches down below in the sky town, but it doesn't really matter. We might even kill some snow golems down there. We're going to need some sort of security to protect the dirt underneath. So we're going to do that. Hopefully, it, yeah, it's underneath blocks, so this water won't freeze. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. So, actually, all I think we need is uh, blocks underneath. We don't really need anything else. We don't need any of this fancy... Uh, we don't need it too deep, so if we just have it like that, that should be good. So... I was actually having a look at some previous Skyblock episodes, and we have come such a long way, and I never realise it. Is that protected? That is sweet. Um, just in the way that, like, you know how, like, the first episodes, always you've got nothing, and then suddenly you've got something. It's more even the fact, like, making these episodes, they, it's still kind of the exact same style and whatnot, but the... Uh, just... I don't know, I've completely forgotten that we've, like, we're doing this series and we're doing all of this jazz and not many people have done, like, how far we've come. Like, we've got redstone and we're debating, like, how much redstone we're going to be using in Skyblock. People don't even get given redstone at the very beginning. And I was looking back at the previous episodes and... It was all of these plans about what we were going to do with our bucket and what we were going to do with redstone. And I haven't, I never really foresaw how far we'd really come with this world. I was even looking at what we were using to get resources with and we're, we've got such a good cobblestone generator, we've got all of these palms everywhere. In the Skyblock Island you can't sprint without falling off. So, I'm very, very happy with how far we've come, and I, like, previously I've been, like, forgetting you guys a little bit more, but you guys have made the series what it has been, and I can't thank you guys enough. I had to take a bit of time to remember it, so I'm trying to improve the quality of the series and always uh, keep going, keep moving, keep, you know, just enjoying Skyblock and keep creating new things and all of that jazz. And I've been doing it for you guys, and it took me a little bit of time to do it, uh, to realise, because the episodes used to be really slow with progress. We were working on one project, some mini-projects, and it wasn't really interesting, and the innovation wasn't there. Like, it was getting the views, and it was getting the people's responses, but I wasn't really happy with it. The episodes were starting to drop in quality, so I'm trying to bring them back, I'm trying to bring myself inside a little bit more, and I'm... I still have the motivation to keep making these Skyblock episodes, but during those times when the quality's quality dropped, I was starting to lose motivation. And I think 
I think the way to keep motivation in Minecraft and in Skyblock is to constantly keep challenging yourself and always continue to know what you want to do in the Skyblock or Minecraft world. So as long as you always have a plan then, uh, Minecraft will always be fun and I think a lot of people fail to realise that. It's not Minecraft which is getting boring, it's them. But Enough about the rant, let's make 16 pistons. Yeah, so let's quickly chuck the pistons in. There we go. I was debating at one point whether we should be using pistons for hidden lighting, but no, pistons are so, so expensive and I'd rather use it for a much more worthwhile mean like these automatic melon farms. Alright. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I've got something out. Like, I've got some more stuff I need to do with this and I've got to figure out the wiring for this automatic melon and, piss, um, automatic melon and pumpkin farm so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Never mind, this is what I had an idea for the wiring. I mean it powers the last piston but it doesn't power that, I, uh, that one. That's a bit of a pain. Oh dear. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to wait until we get one more piece of redstone before we can power the last one. Uh, can I get? Oh, don't even have enough for more stone brick. Man, heating up a stone brick stack in an episode is never, never enough. Let's go do that. I guess we'll use a redstone for this side, and then maybe not for this side. So also, I removed the ladder going down here just because it was a really big pain. So what we'll probably do is we'll just make a staircase for the moment, like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. 32 dirt. Oh dear. We've got more dirt. We've got some over there as grass, but I'm not prepared to at all to use it just yet. I think we've got 12 over there, and then we've got the 6 plus the 1 dirt I left over there. So we're not too bad off. This looks really cool. I really like that. And then we've got the stone brick. I think we'll add what we'll do for the moment is we'll have something like that. Because that should probably power all the pistons. Yeah, there it goes. And then we need one more button. Oh, I'll get the button later. Oh, why not? And then, I don't know. Something like that. Sweet. And then we'll just quickly chuck some light behind here so mobs don't spawn on top. Like so. And then also in my inventory I've got the melon and pumpkin seeds. And we should be sorted. It's so much, it takes so much more time to do this. Like in Skyblock. Because you have to always be in one place or another. Stuff is really limited so you have to get all the resources beforehand. That's why it takes such a long time to resource grind. Sweet! We got two more redstone from the mob farm. Nice. Saw some L that's also a redstone grinder. Alright. Let's do it. I wonder if there's a witch farm in Skyblock which we could take a hold of. But yeah, this is a complete. I'm not sure how fast it's gonna grow or whether it needs like direct access to sunlight, but it, yeah, it, it has direct access. And then Yeah, both should be working with the wooden button so all we have to do is walk forward and collect our goodies sweet we got that we got that sorted and yeah so we're done with that at least uh so you do you guys know about the tree over here i don't know if you remember it but this tree over here was an attempt to create a monument with all of the precious blocks which we've accumulated over time here so up here we've got an ice block that just froze it, a snow block that represents the snow farm, uh, iron block, no one would have that, not many, a sticky piston that represents slime balls for the moment, redstone and iron, redstone block you can obviously understand which and whatnot, gold block, obsidian block, emerald block and glowstone block. So some very precious blocks and yeah, I was going to work on the stream, make it a little bit more exciting, but I don't really like it anymore, so I think we'll probably tear it down. And we'll go 
put it somewhere. I'm thinking in the snow farm down below. Actually, to finish off the episode, because we don't really have anything too exciting left to do, I reckon what we'll do is we'll quickly make a minecart escalator going up from the uh, s snow farm. So I'm going to go start preparing for it, and you guys will be able to see what's going to happen very soon. Oh, we need cobblestone feds. Catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we're done here with the snow golem set. Y equals 1. Alright, so... So what I'm thinking for the minecart uh, elevator... I don't know where to place it, but... Let's uh, chuck it maybe here for the moment. We can definitely adjust later on. Well, bye snow golem. I guess the snow golems are out of range whenever we leave this little town. So we could technically have these snow golems as residents. Those guys were placed here... Uh, during the skyblock challenges so what I'm thinking is we like if you guys don't know what a minecart elevator is then here is a good time to learn so we would have a minecart here we don't have any probably have to replace it with snow, stone brick eventually but I do want to work on the logistics right now oh let's put it in this one so a minecart elevator is you can jump it from one minecart to the next. Uh, dang it! Let's make this a little bit wider. I'm a little bit afraid of what could happen here. I wonder if... Do we only have one snow golem here? Seriously. Mojang, snow golems need work. Yeah. So, if we have a minecart there, then we should be able to right click and go all the way back up really fast. We have a lot of iron, so we could definitely do it. I mean, let us take such a long time. And if we can sort this out, this would be really, really cool. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure, like, what the range is from one minecart to another. For example, this is one, two, three. If we chuck a minecart here, would this work? Would that work? Okay, that works. Sweet. And it's a lot faster. I've never really used minecart elevators. I've never really made them before. So, this is a new experience for me as well. And I, we are not building this out of snow. For If you're wondering. It's just what I have on at the moment. I'm going to have to go get some stone brick for the next episode. Actually, I'll probably collect some right now so we can work on it next episode. And we'll also work on the Hall of Monuments as well. But at least we're getting some good, uh, at least starting some work on this little village down here because we've done nothing at all down here. Actually, what I'll probably do is I'll re replace this water with ladders as well. A lot of things we need to do with that little town. Hey, a legit <laughs> snow golem. And we should also quickly check on how many snowballs, uh, slime balls we get from that farm because I see a lot of, a lot of slime, like always spawning down there. Alright, let's quickly check on this slime farm, and then we'll call it an episode here. Whoa! Whoa! Um... That's a lot of slimes. Maybe it's because we were such a distance away from there that we could spawn all of these slimes in. Wow! Okay, that's quite a few slime balls. We're gonna have a lot of slime blocks when we upgrade to 1.8. Maybe we should speed up the process a little bit as well. There we go. Looks like some of these uh, slimes were blocking up the irrigation system. Sewer system, maybe. So that's going to be it for the end of this episode, dudes. We did some good work and made the melon and pumpkin farm. And we are going to start work on the Sky Town and the Fallen Monument soon. Uh, but that's going to be it. Cheers for watching, dudes. I'll catch you next time. And have a good one.